Our next two guests are both talented actors you've seen on shows like The Carmichael Show and The Shy and Black Lightning. Now you can watch them together on their new show, Run the World on Stars. Please welcome Amber Stevens West and Tosin Mornfala. Hi! Hey! Hi, you guys! Hey, you okay, Tosin. Hi, Amber, where are you calling us from? I'm in Los Angeles by way of Harlem. <laughs> oh, got you. Nice. Represent, okay. And Tosin, where are you hitting us up from? I am also in Los Angeles, but somehow I left the Harlem behind, so. <laughs> we love it. Well, welcome. That's all right. Um, we you welcome know, you guys. First off, Amber, congratulations on being pregnant with baby number two. How's everything Thank going? You. Thank you. I have, uh, I'm due the end of July, so whatever that is. Uh, I can't keep track of these weeks. I'm like 20-something weeks pregnant. I don't know. That is so you exciting. Lovely. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, Tosin, your stardom continues to rise in Hollywood. And as a second generation Nigerian American, have your parents been supportive? And when did they know that you actually made it? Uh, <laughs> my parents had a bit of a delayed reaction. Uh, <laughs> they, they have always supported me as an, as an actor, as a hobby, but I think when I started pursuing it in college, they were like, you know, you need to have a backup. <laughs> and Ooh, okay. yeah. at some point I was like, I think my backup is just to do this. My plan B is to reinforce plan A. And they were hey. like, oh. Um, <laughs> but no been very supportive once I started doing um, professional theater, but they still didn't really fully understand that this could be like a career um, mm -hmm. until I got on TV and I was doing like Empire and they saw me with Ten Terrence Howard. And, and then they kind of were like, oh, okay, I think this is legit now. Um, <laughs> and my parents that. are doctors. So um, when I was on the sh uh, Chicago Med and I played a doctor, they were like, okay, he is honoring us now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's super cool. Now, Amber, I hear that you grew up with your mom's extensive doll collection. How extensive are we talking and what are her favorites? Uh, By the way, so not shout out to your mom, Beverly, who I know very well. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Beth is a lot of fun. I grew up, she's like a child. She doesn't collect all dolls. She just collects Barbie. So, and she likes to build like to Barbie scale, like condominiums and flower shops and a fashion show. And like, she's a full, oh yeah, there it is. And it's literally just a hobby of hers. She's probably got about 3,000 Barbies at this point. No. And they've got a three car garage that's like a full <laughs> Barbie museum. And she just sits in there for hours and like builds these tiny little things. And it's it's just her like fun hobbies. It's, it's very funny. and. And that's different. insane. <laughs> Wait, those that's are collectibles. Cool. Yeah. Some of those are priceless. Yeah. That's really cool. She's got now, them all. Yeah. Right, right. Good. Yep. Hand me downs. Tosin, <laughs> you have a cousin who's a Hollywood leading man, but you guys have never met. So break it down. Who's your cousin and why haven't you guys met? Yeah. Uh, let me spill the tea for you. It's actually my second cousin. Uh, David Oyelowo. I think in Hollywood they call him David Oyelowo. I, he's my second cousin. And I think every time there's been like a family reunion or someone's tried to connect us, he's been working or I've been working. So we've just, our paths That's have never crazy. crossed. And uh, I got to work with Oprah a couple years ago and I know he's close with Oprah. And I thought maybe it would happen then. It still didn't. So I'm, I'm just waiting for fate to put it Tosin, together. I can't <laughs> hear you from all the name drops. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, I love wow, it. We need to make that happen. <laughs> blessed. I've been That's very really, blessed really cool. in the last couple of years. And uh, <laughs> it's just kind of like weird to, to see it all pop off. But I think those dots will be connected when they need to be connected. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Now, let's talk about the new show, Run the World. Amber, tell us about the show and your character, Whitney. Yeah, so Run the World is about four women and their very fun and enviable friendship. They're living in Harlem um, and just like thriving in their lives and having a lot of fun. Um, and my character, Whitney, is a very like type A, very measured person who's really been on this 
you know, one singular path her whole life and has really checked all the boxes. And I think a lot of people would look at her and think, well, she has everything. She's got a beautiful fiance who loves her and a great job and an amazing condo and a great group of girlfriends. And, you know, she's got it all. And yet when you meet her in the pilot, she's now in a place where she's like, maybe I should have taken more risks in my life. And maybe I missed out on some fun opportunities. And she's really reevaluating what it is that she wants to do with her life and leaning really hard on her girlfriends to tell her what to do. And the show's funny. <laughs> I love that. Well, Tosin, I'm excited to hear about your character, Ola. Yeah, uh, yeah, like Amber said, it's funny. All right, let's not forget. It's really, really funny. <laughs> but I also uh, am excited about my character because he's he's the guy who's really uh, a role model. He's kind of respectable. He's a, a Nigerian-American just like me. He's um, ambitious. He's a supporting, loving, doting partner. He's everything that Whitney needs as far as we can tell on paper. And he really, tr truly is uh, surprised when he starts to notice that Whitney is pulling away from him. And once mm. he notices that, he starts to feel some doubts and he tries to get to the bottom of it. Um, oh. But it's a good look for black men because I think so often in these stories, it, in storytelling in general, we are depicted as like monstrous or overbearing or um, right. just <clears throat> unkind and, and ultra toxic. But in this case, yeah. here's a relationship that's enviable and aspirational and, and a beautiful it. depiction of black love. It just has some bumps along the way that it has to That's be. awesome. That's so good. That's real. Okay, well. This is our moment to check out a clip from Run the World. I can't wait to see. Look, I hate to break it to you, but we've done the work. We're a sexy couple. There she is. Ah. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. Oh. Ouch, I get Mwah. seconds. Yes. <laughs> uh, mommy wanted me to tell you that cousin Ade said the caterer you hired had bad jello fries. What? No. Oh my God, do we have to hire a new caterer? No. We don't, it's fine. All right, can you tell mom to relax, please? No, you tell her. <sighs> Help me. It's fine, the rice is fine, everything's fine, all right? Okay. Ew. No, too much, too much, just too much. Take care of her, all right? Love it. Amber and Tolson, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Run the World premieres <laughs> Sunday, May 16th on Stars. Be sure to check it out.